Hey Aisha, thank you for joining us. Pleasure. Thank you. How does it feel to be doing this movie and coming home and talking to your dad unplugged about it? It feels really good. Honestly, I feel like my dad's like my manager. <laughs> well, he still has the money, but I don't know whether that's the reason you're saying that. <laughs> no, it's true. I come home and I'm like, D, or then I'd call him from the set and I'd be like, okay, this is the scene. What do you think? Give me your feedback. And poor guy, I'd pull him out of meetings irrelevant of what he was, what the meeting was about. And I'm sure they were important meetings. And I'd be like, uh, no, I need to speak to him. Uh, please, please call him from the meeting. I need very sweetly come on the phone and listen to me. And then after about two minutes, he'd be like, okay, sweetie, I was in this board meeting. So I think I'm going to go back there now. And, and when you saw your daughter for the first time on the screen, I mean, you know, when everything was done, fully packaged, the big screen, I'm sure it was a proud moment, but what else did you feel? I think there was tremendous, uh, how should I say, there was pride, there was emotion, and she did a damn good job, even if she was my daughter. Why do you think you're doing Miss Match? You're doing a lot of hair, you're doing a lot of hair, you're doing a lot of hair, you're doing a lot of hair. Wow! You're not going to die single. You're going to die single. You're going to die single. But I couldn't say it because I thought people would say I'm biased. But both of us, her mother and me, were absolutely overjoyed and very, very proud. But when you saw the movie, sometimes, you know, the movie script or the story it takes you and carries you away. Right. And you often forget that the person you're seeing is really someone related to you or you know, know the person. Did that happen for a moment? No, we actually it didn't because her brother was there and I was there and we were talking and we said, this is Amrita at home. So what's <laughs> new? We came out. Her brother tells me, Papa, I said, how did she act, Amit? She says, he says, I really don't know. And I said... No, but you must have some common. She acted like Amrita. So I said, then she acted beautifully. She's a bit like... I was like, what do you mean? I'm trying to play a bhenji in your denim. I acted like Amrita. Are you saying that I was like a bhenji from Haryana in real life? No, no, the rest of the drama... Yeah, I know. He was like, I've seen this range in the drawing room since you were 10. I've seen your range from like comedy to like... Queen Harley's with daughter. Exactly. He's like, I've seen your full range. So, so I know where you come from, but it's so interesting. I'm, I'm sure everybody who knows you and knows Mr. Puri would want to know. He wasn't exactly the person who said, okay, Amrita, you want to act, go out there and act. What? No, absolutely not. I mean, and rightly so, if it's not an industry that you'll be like, oh, sure, BP, you want to get into films, go ahead, you know. Any dad is going to be concerned and like sit up when their daughter says, uh, listen, so I'm thinking of doing Bollywood. So um, actually it wasn't really, I didn't think of it as a career option because it's just not practical and reliable and it's so tough to get a break that I just didn't think seriously enough that I could do it. And uh, I remember after I finished my graduation, I did my BA in literature, I was like, all of that was somewhat steered by your dad. Why don't yeah, you find till, this till my, Yeah, else? till my BA in literature, it was me. And then after that, I was like, I'm thinking I'll do ads and do movies. And he was like, and you know, after sitting down with him, he's really smart. He would make me feel like it's my idea. You know? <laughs> and then later I was like, I don't know, was it me or was it him? So he was really smart. He would, he would have a talk with me in this way that after I finish the conversation, I would think it's my idea when it was his idea the whole time. In, in intellectual <laughs> stuff, stuff that I understood, probably only thing was late hours, but not so unstructured. So I said, okay, I'll do this, I'll see you later. So I was quite happy with that. And uh, then I was like, no, then I did o and Then I said, I'll do freelance writing and I was going to go abroad for my MA in journalism which also he really liked and I would uh, be trying to do my GRE and I'm so bad at math that I'd literally be crying while doing my homework. But how was it to sort of be a, a banker's daughter, a chartered accountant's daughter? Yeah, and be bad at math, right? Life, yeah. I think he's quite used to it because since I was in, in school, maths was just something that I couldn't handle. And dad is so good at numbers. So I'd be like, um, He'd, he'd sit with uh, Sam and I'd be like, no, but why? And he was like, what do you mean why? Two plus two is four. There's no why to it, you know. <laughs> I'd go into, but why is it like that? You know, if X plus Y equals Z, then why? And he'd be like, what do you mean why? So I think he's, he's been used to... Have, yeah, he's been oh, used to my style. Is that, is that how you tell all your colleagues back in the bank? No, no, not on everything, but there's certain things that are black and white, you know, that if you have inflation, 
you'll have to raise interest rates at some point of time. So those you can't argue about, but if so, so 2 plus 2 is 4, you can't argue with that. Why, how, and in maths you can't get into. But uh, yeah, maths, she, she's, she's inclined, she's got a tremendous way of thinking, very unconventionally. And uh, that's good. So it's good that she's not constrained by maths. Yeah, I hate physics. stuff that's all boxed and, and this is the way it is. There is a culture to the house. So they asked her to wear something shorter than she, and she said no. But I was extremely shy. That can only still be there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
uh, how is your sort of um, drive? Are you uh, are you like your dad? I mean, initially when I told him I'm quitting ONM, he said I'll I'll be there for you. Of course, I needed his approval. I couldn't do it without like go against my parents and do it. I just couldn't. So. He was like he saw my face and he was like ja beti ji le apni zindagi mein the actress is alive she is alive and kicking ja beti ji and that's how i picture the scene in my head ja beti ji le apni zindagi said it's your decision i will back you till you want me to back you i will be there for you every day you come back home and you need more support i will be there for you but i'm not going to get you a break because you you don't believe in it as a principle you don't want to or even like because everybody knows you right yeah. No point is uh, like this. Part of it all. It's a bit of history, but part of it. Growing up in Chandigarh, good Punjab Air Force officer's son. Can you imagine the movies as a career for your darling daughter? Yeah, I have to give her one to see. Let me not go. Not just a career. Just putting her in there. So first is the apprehension of putting her into this world that I didn't know. Yeah. But you know, in retrospect, now that I've seen her work, one should never prejudge anything. the movies is very hard work yeah they're quite professional and if you're not passionate you'd be a nut to do it but you you made all those very important calls to the director saab and said i want to come and meet you with my wife and know exactly what goes on how was that experience no no not, not to all that act after she got the movie she came back and me and my wife sat down and she comes and we say that's fine but you're not going to sign till we go and meet the director and this whole gang so 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 she was you know not very happy with that i was like oh my god i'm like what i'm in my that? 20s and i'm going with my parents <laughs> <laughs> you know so we so you make your choice if we don't meet the whole lot then you're not doing the movie that she came back one day and and that's probably you know like when you grew up in a house you, there is a culture to the house so they asked her to wear something shorter than she, and she said no and i think it was sonam anil who said if she's not comfortable yeah don't. sonam was like if she's not comfortable because i was very shy initially now he have opened up after doing a movie but i was extremely but shy i can only still be there. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> but, but i'm so interested now that you say that to her i mean you know she's a dad at the end of the yeah. day yeah but there will be times when she'll have to do that it's a movie i rang up my old college friend kiran khair and she said you know the fact that she's been able to fight with you and go she must be a delightful kid is she pretty i said yes she said you know you don't own her you own, you produced her you don't <laughs> own her let her be she's done a damn good thing let her fly a bit and so i think i'm changing yeah, i made him try on three different shots and he very sweetly came and showed it to me and said what do you think of this what do you think of this and i'd be like no go and change no go and change no Tokyo to New York and from Hong Kong to London. The winds of change are blowing through the business space. Sensex has performed as a shining star in an understanding of the new economic order to comprehend the impact on your business. What are the ramifications for institutional investments in India? Get a buzz on global business along with a dose of the quirky. Brought to you by HP Pavilion Notebooks. The computer is personal again. Surface protector, because what's beautiful should stay beautiful. But you know, I would be interested in knowing from you, Mr. Puri, when you were growing up, and when you came to Bombay. She said, you know, you came here with the spirit that someday you'll be on top of the city when the city was really. you know barely able to find you when you arrived in that sense that entire experience of yours uh, what was it like i mean getting yourself into uh, and you know as an assistant with somebody in the finance department at m&m 
See, when you look back, you can glorify a lot of things. If I, if I say I planned the whole thing, I'll be lying. Yeah. So you can work hard, you can do whatever you want to very well, and then